I investigated the evil people living in the most forbidden region in Nigeria. This is not an Nigeria, and according to the media, is the most dangerous zone and forbidden region to visit because of this. Trail of death and destruction. The group is well armed. Have abducted more than 100 people. End of the year, January to December, 79% of the fatality occurred in the northwest. Nigeria is a diverse country with over 250 ethnic groups and tribes. But there are three big ones. An Igbo man never believed in an Aosa man. An Aosa man never believed in Yoruba man. You may be surprised to learn this. Most Nigerian tribes and ethnic groups are afraid and skeptical to explore and learn about each other's culture. They have not actually been to many places aside from the north. They say if I come to Canada, they are going to bomb me. So as someone who believes in showing the diversity of differences and telling amazing stories about people, cultures and places, I'll be exploring and bringing to you the true reality about the lives of each type living in another region in Nigeria. Can we truly find Igbo in the northern Nigeria? How do they manage to live their life and what is life like for them? This place is the first settling place for yes. Igbos. No. It's more small. It's more small? Yeah, I am now. No, I'm not. I don't think I will be able to find one single Igbo in the north because as an Igbo, how do you survive here in the north? People you say north is very dangerous. In this video, I'm going to be investigating the evil living in the so-called most dangerous zone in Nigeria by the media. And what I find might definitely shock you. For the sake of this video, I'm focusing on Kano, the biggest and busiest state in northern Nigeria, where you find a lot of people hustling in business. Definitely, this is a good place to find the evil because in the southeast, the Igbo, farmers and smallholders, eager to learn, sometimes ready to contribute their labor free for community projects like this new road. The Igbo are one of the largest single ethnic groups in Africa. Although most Igbo speakers are based in southeast Nigeria, where they make up almost 18% of the population of one, Nigeria. They say there is one area they call Igbo Road. To explore this area called Sabu Gary, I found a friend of mine named Ibuka and with him we'll be exploring the Igbo neighborhood in one of the largest cities in Nigeria. This is Kanu Tumbingiwa Kome Kazo Deshi Ampika. They call it not, we call it home. <laughs> Welcome to the ancient city of Kanu. This place is uh, Sabongiri and it's mainly dominated by the Igbo people. Mainly dominated by the Igbo people? Yes, you see Sabongiri, you see Java, you see Papwatch. That's where you see most Igbo people. Most of the shops here are for Igbos. Much Igbo people they can know. Um, if you go this area now, if you follow like this, now drug market with that, mostly Igbo people they there. Naibu. Yeah, if you go this side, okay. now clothes, British line, most of the Naibu people there. there. So much show you the place, mate, you come. Some now, outside get, some Naibu get. Everybody, they stay together. This side now, now head in the do. Then they do nails and all those stuff. If you may ask why Igbo seem not to live in their region, it's been said that since the Nigerian civil wars, something has changed and happened in the region that you might not be aware of. It's a sensitive topic, but as Nigerians look back, they'll be keen to avoid a repeat of the dark history that people suffered. Well, the Igbos are more or less the type of people whose desire is mainly to dominate everybody. Actually, after the war, um, the Igbo, Igbo land was decimated, you know, economically destroyed. So they had to pick themselves up, you know? And how did they do this? I sell motor spare parts. I will call Emeka, my brother, my blood brother, teach him the business, and then make him a competitor, like establish him in the motor spare parts business, he will start doing it too. And that is why Igbos dominate business, because they would start it, bring their brother, train him, they will start it, bring two, three, four, five, and that is how we are spreading out. And that's why we are able to rebuild 
as a tribe. We, the evil people, the most business minded what we need to know. This um the Igbos, Igbos in Kano. So they are two. Wow. And I love I love this to be honest. So we are going to go and see the Igwes, and I hope we are able to see the king of the Igbos in northern Nigeria. So let's see what the king is going to say. Fortunately, we could not be able to see the Astavo. So, but, 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 there's another thing I want to show you guys. The history of Igbo in the North is not something that just started now. It's we blended into the history. Okay. Yeah. So, what type are you and where are you from? Igbo by Shrine. They know good precisely. Before the war, there was Igbo in the, in the North. Many of them. Many of them. So uh, if, if it should be known, had it been that for the past, before the war, there was no evil. If this present time, we will not see evil too. Uh, so there's evil. It's a typical lie. There's evil in the world. Now that we know that evil people are living in northern Nigeria, how safe it is for them and how long have they been living here, I would really love to know what their worst experience is as an evil living in northern Nigeria. So in this market, you can find evils. Like they even have a set of places that is only for them. Like a place that is like always arranged as zebras. This place is Zibo. Inside market, I mean. So you can see all this place. You can see all these areas that are mostly dominated by Igbo people. Um, yes, and they are enjoying their comfort here. Enjoying their own space. Yep. See some of my evil brothers. <laughs> okay. This this is where we get wares and okay. yes, yes, other stuff. Yes, yes, you can get anything you want. Anything that can I don't know if I get to. Yes, this is a major market. Depends on what you're looking for. There are segments and. Um, places where you find everything you want, hey. Whatever you want is here. As you can hear, you can hear Igbo music playing up there. <laughs> so there is freedom of um, there's freedom of life and freedom to life here. Like you live and associate with people. I hope you can hear that music. Yes, thank you. So from this um, segment down there, you can get um, Igbo attire. Another attire, yes, they sell it down there. This is um electronics line. Electronics lines. Yes, okay. most of the evil people stay here too. This is still um shoe line. Evil line. people, yeah. But if you follow this side and we we'll go right, you get um um evil dresses and traditional dresses. This is Mr. Godwin and he has a shop beside yes. an Ausaman. The yeah. shop is divided into two. Yeah. And Ausaman is selling the zone and he's selling the zone too here. Yeah. And they have been living yeah. convenience. They have been living with Chad Five without anything for the past four years. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he's an Ausaman from this state. Yeah. While me, I'm from the eastern part of the country. And the shop, we are sharing the shop. For long now, we have been sharing the shop. No problem. Everybody's uh, accommodating each other. For how long? About, let's say about no. four, five, six years. Wow. Yeah, we've been staying together, no problem. That's nice. That's why I see they are very accommodating. You woman living north, what's the experience like? Well, uh, the experience is not that bad. You can say we're coping, no matter what we're coping. Um, the north is well conducive. Apart from this uh, issue that is happening, but for long now I've been staying in the north, it's a good place to stay. And my experience with these northerners, they are good people, they are accommodative. So it's just I need to understand them. I'm a Igbo by tribe. And uh, I've been here since uh, 1987. Uh, I've been long, yes, yes. Can is very, very okay. Can uh, is very, very okay. I, I didn't regret to come into Can State. In fact, their culture is just like uh, if, you, if you learn their character, you can live with them. Peacefully without any problem. You know, most of their problem, if you tamper their religion, 
you get problem with them. But if you are not going that contract, you are going to stay with them peacefully. Nothing will happen to you. As in, as an Igbo, how do you survive here in the north? People say north is very dangerous for the Igbos. What do you think? Um, depends on. Apart from um, religious crisis, the north is a very good place to stay. But um, during religious crisis, or when there are rumors of such a thing, you have to uh, evacuate places that you feel it's not safe for you. That it's right. You come to places you feel your kind of people are there. Um, it's not like everybody here is a troublesome people, or everybody here are troublesome people. No. The problem is that some people, some touts, they tend to take, they tend to maximize the opportunity of crisis and then do many immoral acts and many despicable or unspeakable things to people. So you have to avoid places like that and you come over to places where there are your people. Okay, That's like, but do you have any relatives living in the corn north, apart like, from Kano? Yeah, I have uh, relatives in Niger State and I have um, relatives in, in Meduguri. Meduguri? Yeah. Wow. Yes. So there are evils in Meduguri too? Oh. <laughs> people club, yeah, people club, people club here, there's clubs here. In Sabongeri, there's clubs, they, they go to club, drink, anyhow. Yeah, it's not like, uh, but or, unless you go to the rural areas, where, yeah. that's where you avoid those kind of things. But as far as here is concerned, there's no problem. Living in Kano here, we live peacefully. In short, we have been long. You can see us. No. We are more than like this. This is the place we have been living more than for 30 years now. So this is where we, we give birth to our children. They went to school here. Some went to university here. Some went to university in other states. This is Coach Denmark, and he has been coaching for the past 35 years. And inside his football academy, he has Yoruba, Igbos, and Aousa. Hey, hey, hey. Why is logging? I found out about this amazing man named Akemi, who has helped and saved the lives of many Aousa's people from women in the state. Of course, we have a lot of Igbo people that help Aousa people in this suburb in this town. And we have an Igbo man in this street, Emi Road by Igbo Road, Juvites popularly known as Hakimi, and um, with what I know, he has helped lots of house boys. And recently there is one house guy that normally drinks around and stays around the hood with his jobless and all of this. He took him to his shop. And the guy now, if he says, well, to do now, he can for himself. Um, what's the name of the man? Hakimi. So we are going to Mr. Hakimi now to show you guys. Let's do it. One of my boys, an Aousa boy, I brought him from scratch to Greece. He's one of those people that, you know, wander in the streets day to day. God have helped him. So, I mean, so that means you used to help? I help a lot of Aousas. I brought them up, showed them how to fish the, catch the fish in the river. Tell us about you. My name is Jude I Osuji. I based in Kano, Sabongeri, 75 Emia Road. I started my life in Kano. When I finished my secondary school, I decided to serve my master. After five years, my master said to me, I start my own business. I'm into hydraulic system. As you can see, this is what they call hydraulic system. Caterpillar use it, industries, this is one of my workshop. This is the engine that I used to do it. When I do it, when I put it like this, I press my. You can, as you can see. Okay. It will couple it. Wow. So I have stayed in Kano over to something years. Wow. I marry. I have two children, two, two boys, and two girls. Wow. I enjoy Kano very well. Okay. 
Okay. It was in Kano. We yes. operate very well. We are one of the best tribe in Nigeria so far. And the name they know me in Kano is Akimi. I appreciate Kano. Hmm. But um, how is your business? How is business in Kano? Your business, how is everything moving? You see, one thing I discovered about Kano, Kano is a commercial center. Nothing is waste in Kano. Anything you say in Kano, you will make it. Hmm. It's not like other states. You can manage your life in Kano with your family. I love Kano very well. Do you have move here? Do you, do you have uh, any other family member or friends that are living beyond Kano in the other northern area? Yes, I have somebody, my brothers and sisters, some other people they are living in maybe Sokoto, eh, KB State, Mina, Kaduna, and they are doing well. Mm. I appreciate. Okay. So what was your worst experience in the northern, not general, what was your worst experience as an Igbo in north? You know, one of my experience, worst experience in north, I have been in Kano. I came to Kano in 1988. I've experienced a lot of crisis. You know, north is where every time rioting, 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 killing strangers. You know, but as of now, the government, of Canon, they have they have come down. They have lectured their people. There is nothing like healing anymore. We live like brothers and sisters with our sons, Yorubas. We mingle together. Mm, wow. I appreciate it. I will never go another place than this canon. About how do you think Nigeria can be united? The way you are doing, like what you are doing, like the way you are taking Igbos and everybody, like it's like we are one. Yes. Say a little about how Nigeria can be one. You see this country, Nigeria. Nobody can separate this country. Nigeria, God have joined this country together. The only problem we are having in this nation is tribalism. Our house and Europe, this is the problem we are having. If we can unite and make Nigeria a greater place, I know America, we can beat America. Hmm. We have, a, God have given us everything in this land, Nigeria. Nothing we lack in this country, but tribalism, you know? Aousa does not like Igbo. Instead of Aousa to like Igbo, they like Niger people. Mm. And they cannot do without Igbos. That is it. We need to unite this country. Let us move forward. I can't say this good them, this good them, but I live with Igbo. I'm living with Igbo now. I can say Igbo is a very nice person because he's my master. He teach me how to be benefit in my future life. Hmm. May God help us go back there. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, how do you think Nigeria can be united? Which, how do you think we can unite together? Yeah. The unity of Nigeria, honestly speaking, every day I see it falling apart, turning apart. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe I will say religion or our leaders. I don't know. But firstly, I will blame our leaders. Because if our leaders want us to unite, they will do it. Or the up there, I don't know, maybe they are doing it for their own self, for their own service interest. For the country to come in, to unite. Aye, 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 aye. Well, I let me not go too far about it, but. Do you think if the Aousa know more about the Igbos, Igbos know about the Aousa, Yoruba know about the both tribe, do you think we can be united? We will not ourselves now, for long we have been cohabiting since how many years now? But we have not explored each other, you know, right? We know each other, like for example, now you don't see. I also want to learn about Igbo culture. They feel like their culture is the best. Igbo think they are, Yoruba think they are correct. Uh, uh, so do you think if we try to like explore each other, we're able to relate to her and live with each other? Well, the issue of exploring each other, I think for long now, we cannot explore each other for since when we started, when they are in Nigeria. I didn't think we can do it now because we have been existing since almost 120 years now. So we cannot achieve it then. Is it not that we achieve it? But you still have time. If our leader can put it, put things together, we can uh, come together and reason as one. Like this issue of marriage, like if you are from the east, you are finding difficult to marry the girl from the north. Most of if you're a Christian, she's a Muslim. See, that is where another problem lies. Understand? So that is one big problem there. But if you can marry each other, that's where you can have this intimacy. So that is it. Thank you so much. Encouraging Northerners to also explore East, Eastern parts region of the country. I know there are shortcomings and there are constraints of um, uh, IPOB or known government and all of that, but 
You should look beyond that, you know? Before now, there was time there were Metacine and the rest, and people still came down here. And I believe that if people over there happens to see the uniqueness in Northerners, I believe it will help in the cohabitation and, and, and unity of North and South better. I believe so. In the end, let us remember that, despite our differences, we are all part of the same Nigerian family. Together, we can overcome any challenges and achieve great things. Let's celebrate our diversity and embrace the state that comes from unity. Please like, comment, and share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be exploring the ways and south to find out more about how we coexist in Nigeria. Thank you.